and the next part of this talk is on the panama canal it's amazing how this one small section of a small country can be so important to the world let's learn a little bit about the canal itself before we look at how it connects to everything else the panama canal is an artificial waterway in the central american country of panama that connects the atlantic and pacific ocean it is only 82 kilometers long if you go around south america by ship then you need to travel an other 15000 km so the canal saves a lot of travel time it takes around 8 to 10 hours to cross the canal the french started building the canal in 1881 but they couldn't finish it the project was started again in 1904 by the united states and the canal was finally finished in 1914 many people died while they were building the canal some say up to 25000 For the rest of 20th century, the United States controlled the canal but gave control back to the Panama in 2000. Every year, around 40,000 ships came through the canal. These are mostly commercial ships. They transport goods for the trade between Asia and America or Europe. In 2016, the government of Panama made the canal bigger so that now 99% of ships can pass through it. Let's now turn to the role of Panama Canal in the global economy. And the next part of this talk is on the Panama Canal. It's amazing how this one small section of a small country can be so important to the world. Let's learn a little bit about the canal itself before we look at how it connects to everything else. The Panama Canal is an artificial waterway in the Central American country of Panama that connects the Atlantic and Pacific Ocean. It is only 82 kilometers long. If you go around South America by ship, then you need to travel another 15,000 kilometers. So the canal saves a lot of travel time. It takes around 8 to 10 hours to cross the canal. The French started building the canal in 1881 but they couldn't finish it. The project was started again in 1904 by the United States and the canal was finally finished in 1914. Many people died while they were building the canal. Some say up to 25,000. For the rest of the 20th century, the United States controlled the canal but gave control back to Panama in 2000 every year around 40000 ships come through the canal these are mostly commercial ships they transport goods for trade between asia and america or europe in 2016 the government of panama made the canal bigger so that now 99% of ships can pass through it Let's now turn to the role of Panama Canal in global economy. And the next part of this talk is on a Panama Canal. It's amazing how this one small section of the small country can be so important to the world. Let's learn a little bit about the canal itself. Before we look at how it connects to everything else. The Panama Canal is an artificial waterway in the central american country of panama that connects the atlantic and pacific oceans it is only 82 km long if you go around south america by ship then you need to travel another 15000 km so the canal saves a lot of travel time it takes around 8 to 10 hours to cross the canal the french started building the canal in 1881 but they couldn't finish it the project was started again in 1904 by the united states and the canal was finally finished in 1914 many people died while they were building the canal some say up to 25000 for the rest of the 20th century the united states controls controlled the canal but gave control back to panama in 2000 Every year around 40,000 ships come through the canal. They are mostly commercial ships. They trans they transport goods for trade between Asia and America or Europe. In 2016, the government of Panama made the canal bigger. 
so that now 99% percent of shifts can pass through it let's now turn to the role of the panama canal in the global economy